Well, tonight, after returning to the White House from Delaware, the beach, President Biden went to the Situation Room to address Iran's attack against Israel. He then held a phone call with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu here, the Israeli Prime Minister. This is the one photo that we have uh, that was given out. Reports saying that Biden urged Israel not to respond to Iran to prevent escalation in the region. We're still working again on getting a readout of that call. Plus, during a phone call tonight, the U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has also reportedly asked his counterpart, Yoav Gallant, to give Washington a heads up before Israel were to retaliate against Iran, should the country decide to take that step. We'll bring in now Morton Klein, the national president of the Zionist Organization of America, to discuss. Uh, Morton, welcome. Thanks for coming on. Joe Biden has <laughs> said his support for Israel is ironclad, but at the same time, we've heard him offer up criticism, or what appears to be so, of Netanyahu. What do you believe happens next, the relationship between the two men? <laughs> well, first of all, I have to correct uh, your previous uh, uh, person on the call said $90 billion is going to Israel in a package. It's $14 billion. The rest is going to Ukraine. So it's important for your uh, listeners, to your viewers to know that. No, no. And Israel and Netanyahu are very concerned about Biden because Biden has done everything he can to strengthen Iran. He has ignored all sanctions that were there in the previous administration, allowing Iran to go from $4 billion in reserves to $100 billion. They become a strong country because of Biden's policies, and Biden also has allowed them access to $26 billion more uh, from banks. In addition, because and so uh, 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 Iran sees this and, and feels that America is coming closer to Iran than to Israel. And also when he sees that uh, that uh, that President Biden is repeatedly calling for a Palestinian state, which would reward uh, the nightmare of October 7th, which would be a terrorist state endangering Israel, Iran is strengthened by that. When, when he sees that Biden is, is threatening to withhold aid to Israel and withhold arms to Israel unless Israel has an immediate ceasefire uh, against Hamas, this strengthens Iran. So uh, I, I think the Israelis are very concerned about what Biden's real interests are, the real uh, support is. Uh, we'll see what goes forward, but I'll tell you, this is the right time for Israel to respond. Iran is on the verge of nuclear weapons. Israel should take this opportunity to militarily go into Iran and knock out those facilities. There are 42 of, 42 of them that are developing nukes throughout Iran and destroy their, their military facilities. Israel should take that opportunity now uh, after Iran has tried to massacre thousands of Israelis. The miracle of uh, the Iron Dome and other such defensive weapons has protected Israelis, but not because Iran uh, wasn't uh, trying to do enormous harm sure. to Israel and sure. trying to murder as many uh, as many Israelis as he could. Well, yeah. the, the, the point about nuclear weapons is interesting when we, when we talk about what you see on your screen, the, the nuclear sites, the map we have pulled up here. I'm curious to know if you believe that that Iran was testing its range uh, tonight in terms of their missile capabilities. How close could they get to uh, to Israel before being knocked down? No, well, I, I think that they were sending a message uh, to the terrorist world that we will not allow Israel to hit us without retaliation, to give strength to the to the Hamas, Hezbollah, and Houthi terrorists that Iran controls, to tell them, we're with you, we're going to go after Israel too keep working with us to go after Israel. Uh, that's what I think is the purpose of, of what happened. But no country can allow 200 missiles being uh, uh, launched into its own country in an attempt to massacre many of its civilians without a response. Israel has got to respond. And, and I'm, I'm sorry to hear that Biden has already told Israel we want no response. No country would tolerate 200 missiles. If we had 200 missiles coming to us from Canada or Mexico, I don't think we would ignore that. We would go in and do enormous devastation. This is an opportunity for Israel to destroy the nuclear facilities that uh, Iran has developed, and they're on the verge of nuclear uh, weapons. It is Im important for not only Israel, but for the West and the entire world that Israel go in there and destroy those nuclear facilities now. This is the opportunity. I hope Israel takes it for the benefit of the America, the United States of America, as well as Israel, as well as Europe. All right. We'll have to leave it there. We're short on time this evening. Morton Klein, thank you very much for answering the call and joining us with your thoughts. Thank you.